Hey, 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 welcome to Nala's Kitchen, a show we cooked up to make delicious food and to learn in the kitchen because there is no better classroom than the kitchen. And we are in a different kitchen than we usually are. We are still going to be on our pastry journey. Last week, we did a pastry from home that you could use from the grocery store. The week before that, we learned how to make it from scratch. We're gonna do another where you can just grab it from the grocery store, you are hosting people, or you're going to invent, or you just want your family to have some yummy good pastries. We are going to do another pastry today with a spinach twist. What ingredients will you need for this yummy spinach occasion? Spinach, you can use frozen or you can use fresh. I used fresh cut up. You need about three cups. This is probably a solid two and a half. Um, but again, we're working with what we got in our kitchen. If you want it really spinachy, about three cups. Three cups, solid, solid move. All right, next. One, what is that little box container? Like the eight ounce of cream cheese. Eight ounce, oh! <laughs> eight ounces of cream cheese. You heard it here. Then you will need about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I still got cream cheese on my fingers. And of course, your pastry dough. We got this one from Sprouts. It is organic and yummy. Next, one to two eggs. Preferably two. We only have one today. We're gonna be working with it. Then, you'll just need a couple tablespoons of butter. Everything's just dropping today. You'll just need a couple tablespoons of butter melted at the end just to top off our beautiful mixtures our beautiful muffin croissant, a cruffin, more of a muffin just closed in. But yeah, egg butter, two eggs preferably. Then if you have bacon, that's a great option. If you have sausage, that's a great option. I am gonna do this pepperoni. If you have ham, that's another good option. We don't really have bacon really in our house, so I am using this uncured pepperoni that you can put in your mixture. You also, if you don't want meat, don't throw it in. It can just be spinach. That will still be good too. And for seasonings, you can use Italian seasoning. I don't have that today. I will be using oregano, garlic, salt, and pepper. And you'll need a muffin tin. And uh, I believe that's it. I believe, I believe in a thing called pastries. All right, take your cream cheese, put it in a bowl. You're gonna microwave it for like 10, 15 seconds. Like we don't want it steaming hot too much. We just want it Lucy, Lucy Goosey. It'll be quick. I like having this right here. I can still talk to you. How's your day going? Hopefully well. Hopefully it's sunny, breezy, easy, and beautiful kitchen. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit of your love for me, to me. What is it? Just a little bit. Just a little bit of your love. Ooh, we're done. <laughs> My grave's not done. All right. Now that we warmed up our cream cheese, go ahead and grab your egg and dump it in your cream cheese mixture and mix. Ready? And like I said, we have one egg, but if you have two, that would be preferred. Alrighty, seasonings. Let's get seasoned. Garlic, because always. Garlic, garlic, about a tablespoon. I love garlic. About a teaspoon, about a teaspoon. Tablespoon would be wild. <laughs> Probably still good though. About a teaspoon again of your Italian seasoning or your oregano. So I usually just do around half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of all these things. Just off of eyeballing it is what I think I do. Let's mix this guy together. A fork would be the easiest. Oh, ooh, ooh. Some of our cream cheese is soft enough, some of it's not. Probably doesn't look that yummy. <laughs> Alrighty, moving to bigger bowl. Dumping our cream cheese mixture. Next, we're gonna do the beautiful folded in method. Just like what David and Moira were trying to do when they were trying to fold in the cheese. One second. I'm back with a better utensil. Just like, look, look at that. A fork, not even. Oh, and while you're doing this, please go ahead and preheat your oven to 400. 
400 degrees Fahrenheit, everyone, and you'll still have plenty of time because we got to cut our dough as well. That is complete. Now we dump in our spinach. It's kind of like Britney Spears with the, but like tassels, or not tassels, like strings. Here we go. Okay. Spinach. I'm gonna do a thing at a time. So spinach first, we're mixing in spinach. Okay, we like it. Ooh, that looks yummy. Now, I'm going to dump in our pepperoni, sausage, bacon, whatever you have. If you're doing bacon, please already have the bacon cooked. If you're just doing pepperoni, it's good if you just got it from the store. If you're doing sausage, please have your sausage cooked already. It is not going to get the proper cooking it needs in the oven. Next, our cheese, because everything needs cheese. Parmesan, so good, I got it, you. Bam, 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 bam. All right, we are about done with our mixture. I'm looking at it, I'm smelling it. Definitely smell the garlic. I'm gonna add some more oregano. I'm gonna add some more pepper. I think the salt is good and I think the garlic's good. Ooh, this looks nice, this looks nice. Kind of looks like a potato salad. Let's get to our dough. And we're back with our croissant dough. Let's pop it open and it is croissant dough. So there are going to be lines where they want you to roll the beautiful croissants, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get squares again. Kind of like the last episode. We're gonna get squares and put it in our tin. Let's get this guy open. Boom. Okay. What's that? Same thing like last episode. It's in twos. We're gonna make eight of these guys. So roll it out. It's gonna be four, four, four. Then we're gonna cut two, two, two. All right. I'm going to roll. If you have your lines still, which you probably do, unless you got a different kind of pastry dough, seal them. No problems with sealing them. There ain't no shame in the seal game. All right. So just like the last time. Smooth, 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 pinch. You can even flip it. Be like, oh, what do you got working on back there? Nothing. No lines. Don't know them. All right, now that we smoothed out our edges, you're going to cut these guys in the middle. Try and make sure you don't make them uneven. Last time it didn't super matter. This time we do want a good size situation. You can put these to the side a little bit. We are going to get our muffin tins and you're going to place them in there you just take it take it we're gonna go like this and just go like that just push them in to the bottom and make sure the edges are still out because we're gonna fold those guys over it's gonna be very cute a very cute situation all righty we have them out remember keep your wings out because we're gonna fold those guys in bring on over your mixture you made you can use an ice cream scoop or big spoon i'm gonna use a big spoon Whatever you think would be best to have the same portion in each one. You are going to take about a spoonful, a spoonful of sugar right here, and put it in your muffin. Turned inside out. We'll, we'll say an homage to a cruffin. Just keep filling, just keep filling, filling, filling. You don't want to overfill because then there'll be no room. There we go, tuck it in there. Now, we are going to warm up our butter microwave again right here just gonna do like 15 seconds just enough where it's going to be runny so we can brush it on top of our beautiful situations here oh baby do you know what that was? Ooh. still going every time here we go okay i think our butter is melted enough what we need to do our butter is prepped ready for us on the side so we're going to take one corner fold 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 Beautiful, fold, 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 fold. Interesting, these are turning out interesting. I think you could have filled them more. Now, all of them didn't fold super cute. Doesn't matter, we have a couple that are great. Go ahead and get your butter and dust these guys on top. All right, we have topped off our pastries with butter. Now, throw them in your oven that's preheated to 400 for 20 minutes. Every oven's different, every oven is different. Every oven is different, so please check on them a little bit before 20 minutes, just to see if yours is just a little more powerful. All right, to the oven! 
Now, while our pastries are in the oven, could you guess what I'm gonna do? Talk about pet adoption, because that is another important part of this show and why I created it. I got her from the Long Beach Animal Shelter. I am very passionate about adopting pets from the shelter because there are so many dogs, cats, bunnies at shelters that need us especially because most shelters like Long Beach Animal Shelter are at critical capacity or close to it so they don't have enough space for all those cute freaking pets coming in. They need us. Spread the word. Spread it to yourself, spread it to your friends, your family, your internet friends and family. Anyone who you think would be interested, please share about Long Beach Animal Shelter. I will share with you their information that will be found in the description below. All right, see you when our pastries are done. And we're back! Our pastries are out! And do you see what I mean about it's kind of like a muffin, but it has croissant dough? And then your mixture's in here. Once you do this, be creative. Add a new mixture. Try new things. Make it completely different. Make it like a breakfast situation. You can do eggs, bacon, um, spinach. I mean, pretty much almost exactly what we did. So, you know what? Be creative. Do whatever you want in here. This will be our final product. It looks so good. Smells divine. That's all I have for you today. You've learned pastries from scratch, the easy beginner way, and ways to make it from the grocery store where you're still able to create what's in it in an easier way. Thank you for joining me today in Nala's Kitchen. As always, I'm Nicole. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends and family not only about Nala's Kitchen, but about Long Beach Animal Shelter and pet adoption. Until next time, stay seasoned and balanced. Go enjoy!